Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to the unloading of last night's episode. We got some wire. Damn did we get some wire. First thing on the agenda, we're going to test out this wash machine. Get all of our paint cans out. There's a fair bit in that. The ball doesn't seem to be in it. What's the go with that? Give it enough shake and I think it would be. Anyway, we'll get our paint cans out of the road. Still a lot of paint in those. I could use that. Got a painting job to come up. Save me going buying any. I'm not worried what sort of paint it's going to be. We'll just sit that here for now. And for the grease gun, I did say that I had one and it's been sitting here for that bloody long. So we'll get the grease gun out too. Get it done. Get it finished. Get it fitted, I should say. Just hasn't got the squeezy piece to go on the nipple. So we'll get that done. Still got grease in it too. <laughs> All we gotta do is undo that. Easy as that. That one can go on the trash. Well, scrap metal. It's not trash. This one's got a looks like it's got a bit better o-ring on it. Mm. Nah, we'll use the one that's on there. Yeah, it's still okay. We'll just screw that straight in. Push it down though, the o-ring. Get it down there. No gloves day today. Raw and raw content for you. This one's a bit bent there. This one's not. We might change that over. Give it a change. Handy having a voice handy. There we go. Just undo that part there. Take that one out. That's definitely got a bend in it. We don't want the one with the bend in it. That back into so. Take this one off. Grab the hose. Oh, that's the hose that's got the bend. Oh, I wonder, can I, can I, here we go, here we go, I don't know. I'd like to use the length of that hose because it's a little bit longer, but I'm wondering, can I put that directly onto that? I've never done this. That's that part, that's that part. So we got to have a look at that part. Well, that unscrews okay. That is that part. So we only need to swap the end over. Well, that's even better. Screw that back into that. Do it all back up. It's just this end part. Or is it just that part? It might be just that part. We're getting closer and closer without having to change a lot of stuff. Sweet. See if we can just take that off. And that's all we need to change. Yeah, it's that part. That, that's it. Wow, clean that out. Ah, uh, that'll do the bit of plastic. Get rid of the crap out of there. All the junk from the dumpster. Well, it's nice and clean. Put that onto that. And I think that's it. That's all it needs. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Screw it all back together. Sweet. Put that aside, do all this back up, put it all back together. It's amazing what you find, little bits and pieces. That's why you hang on to parts. Never throw things away if you think it's going to be worthy of hanging on to. It's tight enough for that, it doesn't need to be very tight. And this one here, we've got to do that back up. Going to have to go with what we've got here in the length of hose. That'll do. 
I'm going to put that back into that. Oh, look at me. Getting plastic everywhere. I was cutting plastic yesterday with the reciprocating saw over here. Having cleaned my bench down. Come on, go in there. Get in there. Doesn't want to go back in there. There we go. Pretty damn good, I reckon. Easy fix. Like for one of those hoses, just the hose itself. Mm, cost wise, if I had to go and buy it, probably 30, 40 bucks just for the hose. But they don't just sell the hose, unfortunately. As far as I know, not here. But you could probably get it all made up and lengthen it out and that sort of thing. I know they do make longer hoses but it's plenty tight enough now let's see if it's going to work let's put a bit in here oh ho she's a worker she's a good one well we got ourselves a grease gun sweet what else are we going to get out of this i better get myself a pair of side cutters a bit of threaded rod there that can go straight into scrap metal right here We'll be getting around to doing another scrap run soon. Soon, soon, soon. That can go down there. Nice piece of RHS. Uh, we've got all the wire in there. Camera down there. Battery there. Check this battery out. See what the voltage is on that. See what we got. If it's good, get the multimeter. It's in here and amongst the mess. It's up here. At least I know where stuff is. I can go and pluck it out. It's my man cave. <laughs> you could say it's my man cave. All right, we'll put the light on. What are we going to test it out as? Probably 12.2, 12.9. That's a damn good battery. I'm not throwing that one away. We'll put that over with the rest we've got over here. That's all of our good batteries underneath that. So I'll connect that up and put that on the solar charger. It's even got a buddy date on it. Uh, 11th of the 8th, 21. Replaced 11th of the 8th, 23. Hmm, okay. So it's not that old. Not that old of all. Put our bottles in here and whatever. Put our wire back here so we can get to our bottles. Get them unloaded. Oh, I was going to do that test on that washing machine. Getting sidetracked now. I'm definitely getting sidetracked. That in there. Another can of paint. Cutting wheel. Get our mic hose out so we can get the washer out. I'm testing one now, actually, a washing machine. Paint can go there. Sit that over the vice. I don't think we'll need the vice again. Not until we pull that apart. Right. This down here. And I did forget. Here we go. I forgot to scratch me McDonald's thing. Oh, so what are we going to win? What are we going to double play? Download the app. Oh, i got to download that. Instant win. Woohoo! Thousand something loyalty points. Thousand loyalty points. Ho ho! Well, oh, hang on to that. No, I've got actually got the app, McDonald's app. I didn't get rid of it from the last one. So we'll do that and get what we can out of that and claim that. Might even get a free meal. You never know. Clear this from down here. I don't think the old tape measure is going to work that we picked up. She's um, not retracting, but I did say I'd have a look if I could get it out from underneath it. There we go, without damaging it too much. Did put a kink in it. That's not going to matter for around here. I don't have that many tape measures, I wouldn't believe. I always lose them though. Um, oh, that can go right there. I'll have a look at that later. Not later. Can't fix it. She's in scrap metal anyway. Let's get this washer off. Get 
put my grotty fingers in here. Plug it in, see if it's going to do a spin. If it does a spin, it turns on all that sort of jazz. Well, get it over that test station. Oh, screw it. Off we get. It's so easy to get off these. Makes life look easy, doesn't it? Right, we got a cord over there. Push it over here. Jeez, it smells nice. Strangely enough, it's had some nice fabric softener or something in it. Sit it down here near June's table. Oh, yeah, I didn't ask her about that. I'd better get to and ask her. As you've noticed, we seen another one of these. Audio. Don't need the barrel for much else, no. Oh, she's powering up. Powering up, we better get hoses out. I think there was hoses inside. Yes, there's hoses in here. Smells very nice in there. Now it is a... 8.5. She's there, fluffy. Fluffy hoses. Got a little lint on those. Right, put a power into it. We put it on a, uh, just a spin, and then we'll go rinse, spin, if it spins out. Pump sounds to be going. While that's doing what it's doing, we'll get to and unload the rest of this. A pair of side cutters. Snips, snipperoos here. Took us a bit of a transition to work out where things were once we changed all, all around here. That to there, they can go there. Get into our bottles first. Oh, that one's got to have a heat treated. That one's got to have a heat treat. Just got to watch for that. Oh, that needs a bottle. Oh, we'll put that up there. We haven't decided what we're doing with them yet from last week. Still deciding what to do, whether we scrap them or no. That goes to the wires. That can go there, that can go there. Uh, well, yeah, that was going over there. It's probably a good spot for those. get this sort of stuff from when I go do the the adding of truck depot and all that like last night and that sort of thing um, I don't seem to get it much elsewhere I do see an odd one on the side of the road so I'll stop pick it up no point leaving it there it's 10 cents People throw 10 cents away, oh, I'm going to pick it up. That one's a bit twisted, but we'll untwist it. Should go through now. Try not to leave these for too long, not like the last lot I put through. They were starting to go all funny and black. I suppose I could leave them out in the sun, that'll kill the mildew and whatnot. Just got to keep them dry. That's all it is, keep it dry. in the shed here we get a lot of leakage yeah that'll go through all right aluminium give me hands a wash later can always do that wash your hands later that goes over here in there all right bits of steel there another piece there more alloy there I've got to get the rivet out, not the rivet, the uh, tech screw out of that. I'll do that. Grab these cans while we're going. Still got more cans in the box. Oh, it's a bolt. Alright, it's a bolt. 
drag that in over here, we'll just cut it off. I'm not going to undo it, we'll just cut it off. Oh, no oh, thumbs. In and out, all right. That's off. Good piece of alloy. Straight in there. Everything's still hands. You know, can throw things where I need to throw it. Get the heat gun. This is how you get these labels off. If you ever get these with the um, where they go through and they've put this sticker on for when the, these authorised managers put the sticker on for valid so that they've paid for it, stuff like that. Just get out a heat gun. Give it a slight bit of heat. On low. On the low setting. Give it a bit of a heat. See, they burn it on. Oh, I'm getting not, no power here. Get in there, get in there. It doesn't want to go in. There we go. I'll come off the grass. I'll stand back here. It's only just in. Let it heat up so it gets sticky, sticky. You only got to get barcode section. You can smell it when it's warm, trying to get it too hot. I'll just sit that there for now. Then all you gotta do is just peel it off. That's hot, hot, hot. I'm talking hot, hot. If you get it too hot, it sticks on there hard. Just peel it off. Usually you have a hard time getting these off, so I use a heat gun. Comes off so easy. Look at that, you can reveal the barcode. Come back here, paper. You're not blowing away, get in there. But that's all you need to do, leave the rest on, that's fine for that one. See, I'll show you with this one, oh, it's going to come off anyway. They haven't put that on real good. Sweet, look at that, nice and clean. Didn't put no heat on that one. Anyway, we'll put them in the thing. But yeah, sometimes if they're stuck on for a long time, use a heat gun. Makes life easy for yourselves. Right, look at that. I'll get into this wire soon. More alloy there. More wire there. We get that out of the road. We're going to go through that. We'll get a can in there. Oh, that's only low grade stuff. Got to give it a cut and find out whether there is wire in there. There's definite wire in there. That's very low grade stuff. Got to chop our ends off that. It's all low grade stuff, so we go as far up as possible. Chop our ends off. That's that. No more ends. No, that goes into there. So does that. Go straight into there. Build our pile back up. That's good strippable stuff. We're not putting that in there. Cable ties. That can go down there. That's almost a full one. Has been opened though. What have we got here? Little bolts and whatnot. They can go that way, that way. All this strips of wire goes into that blue bin over there. Still got to get around to doing it yet. Oh, get a bit better pair of than those. Get some cable cutters. Sort of caught up with around here too. Only got to do watering and stuff. Plug in straight in there. I don't worry about, I've mentioned it in plenty of other videos, I don't worry about getting those. Very time consuming for a little work that you get out, a little bit that you get out of it. So I don't bother with them. Get that out of there, bit of steel. Just gonna hang on to this bag, might chuck it in a wash machine find out what this hard stuff is in the back there's a hard membrane there oh there's the hard stuff paper 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 we don't want to know about all that that's trash straight away I should have looked in that last night oh well never mind she's in the bin 
thrown it in the trash. Did that take the flex out? It did. Took all the hearts. Oh, we got other stuff in here. We even got the belt. That's a brand new piece. Wow. Yeah. That's the whole thing. Oh, it's a backpack part. Fair enough. Yeah. That's one part. Well, there's the other one. Well, I'm glad I picked it out. That's a nice bag, that. No, nothing wrong with it. Damn, I like that. I do like that. Oh, what have we got down here? Stones. Rightio, that's enough of the bag. Definitely hang on to that one. Put that there, make use of that. Now our wire that we're gonna strip, we'll put it over here. More bottles. Get them under the arm. Up to there. That there. Over there. Now this is like gold for me. Yeah, we'll get that get a video going on that. Now this is only low grade stuff. I'm not keeping it. There's no point if they're throwing it away. No point me hanging on to it. Like you probably pay 30, 40 bucks for a roll of this stuff. Uh, use these. That makes life easy. Chop the end off. The end's already off that. That can go straight into there. Yes, I know. Straight into that. And low grade. All right, we've got an end there. Don't know what's in the middle here. Got to sort that out. Feels like a bolt, so we're just going to chop him off. Oh, that's got brass in that. We'll put that on a dune bench. Sort out, I reckon. It's got that brass connector in it. No more on that. And that go over in the stripping stuff. Sure can. Back to there. Wouldn't you all love to have that wire? <laughs> I know I got it. I've certainly got it. That's nice stuff, that. Got some good chunks in here, I tell ya. That's a marvellous piece, that one. Then we've got in here. That stuff. Look at that. That's like gold. Yeah. That one can go over there. What we got here? Don't know what the hell this stuff is. Probably low grade stuff. Chopped the end off. Very low grade that. Right, well that machine finished up. Take the metal off that. That into there and that to there. Alright, we've got to get that off there. That's good stuff. That, that's strippable, that little piece, so it's that. <laughs> yeah. Extension cord. Into there. No point keeping the ends. I got enough work to worry about, let alone doing those things. Oh, a bit of duct tape there, a bit more wire. Just trying to get all of our wire out at the moment. Proper bus bar. The, that over there, it's all still a little bit of a short walk for us, which is good. Right. That smoke machine on June's table. That's about it. We'll put the bottles in there. That there, that there. So if we got the other table, this is what I was thinking, it'd make a bigger bench to put more stuff on. Like when you look at big TVs like this, we got nowhere to put it. I can't put it on my bench, we've got a vice over there, we've got a vice on this one, so I was thinking, maybe, this is just maybe, if we move this this way, chop these tops off with the other one you seen last night, that'd make a big, bigger bench. That's what I'm thinking. Screw them both together so that they're all pretty close together and that sort of thing. I haven't actually discussed it with June, but we'll see what happens. She might like the idea, she might like dislike the idea, we don't know. That over there. 
get down here up here. Get stuck into all the stuff. It does do her part. Even though she's always in pain. But when are we not all in pain? We've all got something wrong with us. Stupid things we do over the years. No, it's just one of those things we do. Silly things. Right, I'm not putting the trash in here. Let's get the bottles out. Bottles in the cans. Add the bag. Leave the trash in the bag. There's a little bit of trash in it. That's a water. Let's put fluid in it, that one. Two more. That's the trash. Now where'd that plastic bag go? Way up here. Oh, I will take out all the trash. Put it in that bag. I better get some gloves on to deal with this greasy stuff. Got a bottle there too. What have we got left in here? All right, we can put that there. We don't want that stuff. There. Now the meter, scooter camera, zippy tie. Oh, that's that. Yeah, that's all right. Grab that and that. Get there. Put that up on my bench. That over there. Zippy toys up here. We've got certain spots for all of those. Don't have to pay for any. Right, well, we'll put that over on the bench. Testing bench, sort this stuff out first. That's a box, a nice sturdy box. Didn't it? Don't have to keep it, but I'm gonna gonna keep it anyway. Get rid of that. Right, get our gloves on. Ah, uh, pair up here. Where'd they go? Where'd the devil they go? Over there. There they are. Bottle there. All right, we're just going to put it all over there, except for the brake drums. We're going to put them out there, and I've got to cut the rubber off this anyway, and get the heavy plate off the bum of it. So it goes down there. I don't bother trying to get these apart no more. Hey, you get back up there, because. Uh, by the time you take that spring out of there, it's bloody dangerous. I'll tell you what, then you've got to try and get all the metal out of it. No. Straight in there for me. Nice big fuel filter, I think that might have been. Going in there. Over there. This is where the weight starts adding up. Six up in that, actually. That'll hold that down. Make sure that's going in there right. Yeah, I'll chuck one down there. Hold that stuff up. Doesn't take long to unload this at all. Sit that there. Sit that one there. That looks good. That's that one finished. Oh, we got all those bolts and stuff into that. Don't fall out. Don't fall out. In there. Alloy. We've got to pick them up now. What a bugger. There. Right. It's not what I wanted. I didn't want them to fall on the ground, but anyway, it happens. 
give it a twist, sit that there, even though I put it up there. All right, that's brass. Put that with those. Should get a magnet, really. That'd be the better thing. Right, they're going to be dealt with. Got to test that battery out, the Makita battery. We'll get the Makita tool out. Uh, they got to go there. And they can go into that. Two more of those. Was I able to cut the plastic off them? Didn't have to bring the whole thing home. What have we got down the back? Oh, that's those tent poles, isn't it? What have we got out of that one dumpster. Put them where you can. I oh, still got a little bit of room over here. That one's full, chock-a-block. Don't need the back now. Right, we'll get to around and get around here and we'll put them into there. Save me if the, I've got a couple of brake pads under there. I'll get them out first. Save me having to carry them. I'll get around there. There's another can. Oh, I'll get it banged it oh, before I get around there. Still haven't hung this light up from last week. I'm thinking about hanging it right here actually, over the top of our tools. All right, magnet, pick it up. Best way to pick the crap up and give it a shake. I've got them off. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. That's not gonna pick that one up. Over here, get a couple of pieces there. Springs are a bit heavy. It's not gonna come off. Don't drop the nail, run over it. Sit that there. Right, what we got left? That one, that one. A couple of bolts. Uh, tin can. Well, not tin, it's an aluminium one. What's over here? Just a spring. Right. Now we'll make a move and move over there. I reckon that's close enough. Good height. Look at that. That's why I chose this one. I don't have to lift. Just roll them in. Place them in here. Start over this side. Put that one there. Sit another one there. Then we'll put the other two on top. 
Start these all over again, collecting these up. It's a big load we took in last time. Pack easy, but they're just so heavy, so goddamn heavy. And noisy. <laughs> Damn. Anyway, that's that unloaded. Leave the car there, and um, we'll get this Makita battery all tested. I grabbed out. A, um, in between the brake there, I grabbed out the battery, uh, uh, uh not battery, the battery was, I t tested the battery, I'll get my words right here, it tested out, I think I tested that as, this is the Makita battery, put the pole on the pole, that pole on that, 19.83, and it is an 18 volt, so, I think they go up to around, don't quote me here, I think they're about a 21, 22 volts once fully charged, but I haven't tested it. Got out an air compressor. I'll turn the air compressor on. Powering up. Look at that. I just got to buy myself a charger now. <laughs> Damn. So that works that. I've also got the chainsaw. Wonder if it'll run the chainsaw. I'll go get the chainsaw. Get the old chainsaw out. I actually went and bought a uh, Ozito adapter for the chainsaw. So we can run Ozito ch batteries off it. This is what I'm talking about. Where's the Ozito battery? Got one here. This is Ozito. Plug that onto that. All right, now I can take the adapter off. I ain't got three hands sometimes. So the adapter goes onto that, and that's that. Now, battery off this. See if it works it. Tell you what, if it works. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. Oh, it's even got the tester down here. Why is it flashing two and two and two and two? Let me know in the comments if you know what that means. Because it usually just shows up two. Don't know what that means. Anyway, I might be getting a charger for nothing. I have got a um, LiPo battery charger over there on the bench where my phone is, right in that vicinity there. Um, so I might be able to whack some terminals into there and charge it with that, put it up to its, say it's an 18 volt, I don't know how many cells, that's a lithium ion phosphate, um, 18 volt, it'll detect it, I just put it on auto and it goes like that, so we'll put that over there, we don't need that there no more, that can go back onto that, I've been using this fairly regularly around here, doing a bit of pruning, so we'll get them tools out of the road, we don't need them over here now. But yeah, this is the little blue charger I'm talking about. IMAX B6AC. It's also DC as well. So yeah, I've been doing it on some of these batteries too, but I went and bought an actual proper battery charger for those. But anyway, um, we'll get the MIG tip out of the road. It's got some brass in the end of it. Just leave that sitting there. And this is how you get these apart. Like these have got a lot of brass in them, that sort of thing. So easy these. I uh, might need a bigger shifter. They just unscrew. So easy. And you can get the plastic out the whole thing this way. So this is why I grabbed these. There it is there. Nice bit of brass on that. 
that should just pull out now. Clamp that there. Didn't clamp it tight enough, of course. Got brass up the gut of it too. There we go. Now I can grab the actual hose. Get a bit more clamping force. And just pull that out. Like so. Then with that part there, the end part, I get to with the grinder. Just give you an example. And I just cut it. I've got no power. <laughs> I took my power away. It's over here. Flat edge screwdriver, because that will be hot. Don't take long for brass to warm up. Pry it apart. Slide the center piece out. There's another piece of brass. We might uh, sit it in our McDonald's cup. And then that, these done. Then that goes in the trash. That goes there. Now with these, Put the spring in here. These are the air lines off the trucks. This is how I deal with them. Grab a pair of pliers, crimp it in there as hard as I possibly can. A pair of flat nose. Just to get the bit of brass out of it. Just give it a yank down this way and she's off. That into there. Then we can put this in our scrap bin. Into there. So just again, same thing, got four of them. Oh, that was a bit tight, that one. And I did put the wash machine on for a cycle too. So, so far no problems. It's only saying there's no hot water. We got no hot water down here. So I had to put it on a cold cycle. Tell you what, if that works and it goes through the whole cycle on that wash with that machine, 8.5 kilo, maybe $190. I know I'm putting low prices on things because if I don't put a hot, if I put a high price on that, we're not going to sell it. I'd rather a low price and get something for it than have a high price and get nothing for it. Um, how am I going to get that one out of there? Not as easy as it looks, that one. <clears throat> Might have to do the metal piece first. Get the spring off. She's not coming out. That's not going to work, is it? It's got a denting it right there so it's making it hard okay another way you can get these springs off is slowly peel it off because they screw on without trying to stab your hand I've done that many times I've had screwdrivers hanging out my hand the whole lot now that is getting gory for you but yeah I had a in my younger years I had a Phillips head screwdriver sticking out of this hand Shut up like this and she's poking out like so. Yeah. Oh, I might show it like so without the pliers. <laughs> didn't go right through. Didn't hit no bones, nothing like that. So my hand's still okay. Call me dangerous. That's what they call me. Danger's my middle, must be my middle name. Surely. I can't grab that with those. Not with that centerpiece in there. That's better. All right, put a bit of tension on, weave it off. I could use the grinder, but I don't want to create any sparks at the moment. There we go, that's the easy way. Let's give it a yank. Yeah, that's why I can't get it, look at that. So, oh, someone's messaging me. They can wait. Cut that off. 
Yep. No bias behind that. That should go there. Push that through. Hopefully it'll push through. Oh, look at that. It's running away on me. Another piece of good clean piece of brass. Do the same with what we've done with the other. Clamp the hose. Cut a little bit through. Yep, coming out. <laughs> Plastic's getting hot. Oh. That is hot. <sighs> Crimp it up a bit tighter, I reckon. No, that's not going to work either. Okay, do it this way. Go this way, it'll hold that way. Thinking outside the square here. Square meaning this little square that I'm using. Don't do it up too tight. Pull it apart. Yes, how are we going to get that off there? Without punching my fingers, man. Come on. Think about it. What you doing? You're commenting, probably saying, well, you do it this way, mate. Yeah, I know you do it this way and you do it that way. I'm doing it my way. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm trying the best I can here. Trying to get it off. It's not working. Not working the way. Oh, I know what I can do. Squeeze the inner. Here we go. It's not a territorial or anything like that. This is just showing me what I do in the shed. How I try to do things. Think about it before you leap. Here we go. Let's squash that down. And we should be able to. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Now we should be able to grab the plastic. Yep. We're there. Had to get the brain working. Do the other ones. Might have a look at that too. See how we go. See how time's progressing. I've got to get in and answer these messages too. Might be another wash machine. That I'm, I've got about five or six for sale. So we are making extra money off the side with the wash machines as I pick them up. Like this one on the, the front loader here, it's got a pump problem. I did fix one problem in it. It was just the water di diaphragms in the, for the cold water side. I fixed that yesterday. Now it's got a pump problem. So may have some parts here. I always hang on to those sort of things here because I never know when I'm going to need those. It saves me having to worry about going buying brand new parts. They are a used part. But I fully test the part first before I worry about putting it anywhere. Now, has that got a kink in it too? May have. May look like it. Mmm. We'll have a look. Where's those side cutters? Through them to kingdom come. Oh, that's coming out of there, all right. Oh. Don't look like we're going to get that out there. Out of there in a hurry. Got to do the same with the spring that way. The reason why you do it this way, you know, if you're pulling on that and you've got this end in the vise and you're pulling on that, that spring's going to hit you. Hit your hands and hurt you. So, this is the easier way. I've done, done that from experience. <laughs> I've been hurt many, many, many times doing that. I will leave that hanging like that. Come back here on the run pull that out of there ah that don't go in there where am I going with that come back here oh we're doing a bit of trash picking here <laughs> I'm, many times I've done that many many times had a brain fuzz there real brain fuzz go this way don't want the grinder wheel to be caught. Come back 
them off. They're coming off on me. Oh, give it a small press on the side. Give it some movement. Ooh, come on. Here we go. Last one. Clean the bench up. Well, I've only got to go around and check sprinklers here and that sort of thing. That's all I have to do around here at the moment. Put water on, take turn the water off, and that sort of thing. So I'm fairly well caught up. Got no mowing or whipper snipping to do here. So that's why I'm spending a bit of time doing this stuff. Bit of relaxed time, you could say. Time to myself. Peace and tranquility. I've got no, no boss around me here. Um, if anyone's wondering, they're never ever here. They always ring me or text me or something like that when there's ha something happening. Sometimes I don't even get that, they just turn up. Oh, that's those. It's all of our brass done. Yeah, that's all those. That's what we got in our brass, not bad. We'll put that in a brass bin. Better not lose our ticket. Symbols, June symbol. Oh yeah, I see what she's done there. She's been doing a lot of computers lately. Still got a lot of computers down behind the TV. Better not lose that cup. All right, get our battery back out of the road. We may need that. Good, damn good. Get that there. Right, clean our bench up. Have a look at this. Let's see what we're going to get out of this. Side cutters are right there. We'll break the seal. She's already got a broken glass. The side cutters aren't the best. Oh, there we go. Cuts that sort of wire. Ah, that one is over here. Made a special one up for the drill for small flatheads. I've pulled one of these apart. Oh, truth, I think it was back last year. And um, got a fair bit out of them. There's a fair bit of aluminium there. There's a bit of copper inside of them. So I don't mind pulling them apart. If I can get this one apart. This one's plastic on the outside. There we go. That's all plastic. Get rid of that piece of glass. These pieces are aluminium. That's Bakelite. Get rid of all that dirt there. Oh, glass there. Probably still works. I reckon it would. Like it's only the front face that was bent. Oh, not bent, broken. Um, we got some good wire there. So we'll get that out. We've got brass in here as well. Got to test those. They might be brass, these ones, which they are. Where's our cup? It's not sticking, so they're brass. Little bits of wire. No point doing this by hand, hand tools. Do it by power tool. Oh, come on. 
get in the slot. Those three there. All right, bits of wire that can go in the strip pile. Even though, no, we haven't got the wire stripper out here. We've actually put it inside the bus here. So there's lighting in there and that sort of thing. Rightio, get to and do these plates, top plate. Better slow that down a bit. Too slow for me. That's better. That's alloy. Oh, we've got a little dial needle there. A kilowatt needle. Take that off. How's that held on? I'm just going to pull it off like so. That's over there. That's steel. No, that's alloy as well. Might be brass even. That's steel, it's sticking to it. Let's give it a grinder test. Brass. That's alloy. I don't try and scratch it with a file. It's quicker to do it with a grinder. Alright, spin these ones out. Oh, can't get that. That looks like brass. It's marking it like if it's brass. Oh, that's solid. Solid in there. Better get a screwdriver and start it. Oh, well, tight. Very tight. Well, that one's loose up there. Undo that one too. Undo that. Go to and nip them all up. Undo one of them. Oh dear. That's got some tension on that one. That's not going to go in the slot. Got to get this bit smaller screwdriver. Over here, June's got them over here. That one there. crack a doo crack a doo how do you do oh god damn twisted the end on it hammer job where's my hammer get down here on our anvil never try to heat them up then it goes soft There. Crack a do. Right, get to an undo. Sounds like she's on the way down. Coming down early. Yeah, that one looks to be brass. Where's that magnet? Neo magnet, it might be brass. Oh, she's got a caravan coming in. That's brass, all right. Get a lot of caravanners coming, coming and going. Got to test all these, that's not sticking. Brass. I've got a funny feeling these will be all brass. I think that's all off. No, we've got to get down the bottom, undo those. No, you can't see much. Down in a small hole here. Alright, is that all of them? All bar one. It's a big coil pack there. 
they're all brass that marked as brass that one I reckon that would be two probably got a brass washer uh, we're just going to cut that wire so we can get that completely out of there got somewhere to put all the stuff we'll get to that later this is the interesting part this is what we want to know about what's salvageable and what's not salvageable there's brass in center of that be able to screw that out of there that there oh, it's always amazed me on how these work that's got aluminium on it yeah, undo that Oh, it's got a needle on it. That'll be dirty brass. It's got a soldered piece in the gut. Yeah, that's dirty brass, that one. Sit it over there for now, test the nut. She not sticking, so I've got to grind it. Ah, uh, pliers. She's shiny, like gold, shining like gold, that one. Now, this piece here, yeah, that's got ferrite in it. So that's gonna have to go into there. Ferrite's magnetic. Go with the screwdriver. Sometimes your power tools ain't the best. Till you've got it undone. A nice clean screw. Another one there. No, got to use the screwdriver first. I might have to fix the tip on that. That no, shouldn't be too bad. Here we go. Getting a lot of brass out of this. Another screw there we can undo. It's already undone. It's not coming out. Why are you not coming out? There we go. Right, get under the knees here, get this coil off. Give it a nip. Give that one there a nip off. Get our copper off. This here will go as uh, domestic copper. The coils in here. Test that out. that it? No, we got one down the bottom, didn't I? Come on, off you come. Why aren't you coming off? Oh, you've got a centre piece in the centre. Magnetic piece in the centre, a steel piece. We're going to take that holeless bolus, pin and all. Have we? Shouldn't have to. Oh, that there. Oh, what are you telling me, washing machine? No hot water? Sub, lock, whatever that is. Don't know. Might be the pump. We'll give it another go. Got 32 minutes to go. Trying to get this apart. How's that come apart? That should just slide out. That's what it looks like. Cause she's got the wheel in the middle. 
Oh, but then you got this piece here. Your screw mechanism, this screw piece. How's that? Oh, that's got to be screwed right out. What a pain. Oh, well, I'm just going to pop that out. Screw it out and pop it out. It's coming loose. It's coming loose. There we go. Oh, I got it apart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm after this stuff. Nice bit of copper in there. Now, how do we get that apart? Probably by the grinder. No, got a couple of nuts here. Good chunks of copper there. Get that bracket up off so we can get those two coil pieces off. That should fall off now. Come on. Oh, you're joking. There's more? No, there's not more. Good. Off you come. Off you come, mate. Oh, more things are falling out. There we go. Give it a bash. Give it a whack a bash. Right. Got that far? What have we got underneath that? Oh, okay. Got to cut that bit off. Uh, cutters. That off there. That off there. We'll put that over there, it's only a little bit. Take your rubber off. Unwind that, that, that way. Now, just looking at that, that looks like this plate should just pound off. Pound off or lift off. See what we can do. Yeah, it's gonna lift off. Hey, sweet. Bit of copper there. That's just steel. Very sticky stuff. That might be brass, which is. Unwind all of that. This goes as domestic copper, like I was saying, because it's got the. <coughs> excuse me. It's got um, the lacquer on it. <coughs> Throat's getting dry. So what we've been doing with all this, <coughs> excuse me, um, we've been putting it in a bin because we've got to start all over again. Down there, under June's table, when it gets more, we'll put it in a wheelie one. Now, cut our wire off this. This will just go as a transformer as it is. Cut our terminal off. There. That can go as is. Because I don't know, I don't know. We'll have a look. Well, we'll have a look whether I'll be able to get into it. Um, how, how deep is it? Oh, there's metal in there, the whole nine yards. Is 
this just saves me a bit of time so I can have a look on how deep that plastic is whether it's worthwhile well there's a lot of rounds and paper in there no we'll just send that as a transformer yeah too much paper a lot of paper we'll just leave that as is no need to go any further I can't remember where I started putting transforms oh yes we did down here transformers fellas in there right well that's that part uh, we've only got this to go now there's a lot of fiddly work in amongst that a lot of little screws that sort of thing most of that is aluminium um, all this casing here is just well you'd cut class it as um, oh struth I can't think of my bloody names now of what all these metals are got brain fog um, cast alloy <laughs> I do it every day every day and this one here is cast alloy we've got a whole heap of brass in here I'll get out later uh, still got this from last week I've got to do as you know it's, it's sitting on the bench here I've got to get to with the uh, oxy leave it intact this is how I do things with these these brake boosters I don't actually get to and undo none of the bolts or anything like that I get to with the oxy cut a square hole in one side on that side because that side's got no bolts on it and then I go to the other side do the same then I cut the spring I cut the, the, the spring with the oxy, I do the same with this, but this one's already out this side, so this one might, this side might be safe, um, this side's not the dangerous side, this other side is, just so we can get to the cast aluminium in the centre. So that's what we do there, we do have a bit of normal domestic aluminium here, so we can put that in where it belongs, down here, um, this is what I was talking about, June doing all some computers and stuff. So, we do get a bit of e-waste, not much we can do about it, but we get it. So anyway, um, cans are paid as well, like I said, so just all work. That's a funny can, it's got a funny top on it. That's a resealable one by the looks of it, anyway, might not be. Hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one. I tried to show you how this had come apart and that sort of thing. This is how your meter is on the side of your house. So, yeah, not much to them. What app, how it all works, those coils and that sort of thing makes this turn and yeah. Anyway, that's that. I've got to finish that off. And um, yeah, not a bad adventure. Still got the MIG tip, tip to work out, get all the brass out of that. So it was a bit of a brass, brassy ex action and that sort of thing. Washing machine's still going. Hasn't come up saying any extra codes. It's died down to 24 now, so it must have had something to do with water or something like that because i've got it on auto and that sort of thing so it might be a good machine i've got to test it on every single cycle here this one here's got a pump problem they even started testing dishwashers this, i got a notification text me saying oh, i've got to work in dishwasher for you i test them before i actually put them on marketplace that sort of thing give them a clean up you can see she's pretty dirty here so i've got a solution in the bottle over there I spray it down, cleans it, it's got hand sanitizer in that solution and and hand wash and that sort of thing and it sterilizes the bloody thing. I guess my hands nice and clean. So anyway, this one's still test I'm still testing it. Had to level it all up with the spirit level, get it all level, because otherwise the water doesn't drain out of those. So yeah, but anyway, that's this one done and dusted for you all. Hopefully you enjoyed tagging along with me. So that's the adventure of unloading the vehicle for the for the today um we've got a few other things to do and that sort of thing i gotta get around and change all the water around here and uh, do a bit of work around here i suppose yeah but anyway don't forget to like and subscribe if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you get notified when we put a new video out so till next time everyone happy dumpster happy scrapping and i'll see you in the next one cheerio